All right, here we go. This is um, off of the happy dip list. This is Bleach, Ichigo's theme, number one. It's a laundry detergent. Shadow, Hana Ukulele. Here comes the girls. Oh, sorry, wrong song. Why does this have a beat it vibe? Wow. Vocals are not kidding. Okay, so obviously my engineering senses and ears tells me that the engineer on this mix was a voc more of a vocal engineer than let's say a rock pop engineer. I'm just, I'm not, I'm not, you know, harsh in it. I'm just saying, <clears throat> obviously the big blowouts of the mix are the background harmonies. You know, those big banging harmonies that are being sung more so over the melody and definitely more so uh, over the drums and the guitar it's not a bad thing i'm just saying it just sometimes like you could tell it you maybe the engineer had a more of a soft spot for vocals something else i will say is that all those crunch chords in the back are triggered so if you notice those attacks are very abrupt those are triggered but the but the guitar lead is a guitar lead and i love how the engineer plays with the lead instead of letting it sit when it does its lines, he's kind of messing with the panning just to give it a little more uh, depth and stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, this is it totally caught me off guard for for um, well, I shouldn't say this because anime tracks that I've learned are extremely um, pop progressive and they and will pull from different genres in certain um, periods, time periods. So this doesn't surprise me at all. See how those vocals blow out, right? Who's that guitar player?
I got to hear those toms again. Those totally remind me of like in the 80s of the dance. It's, it almost, I don't know anything about this song when it was written or anything, but it so pulls hard. Remember, I said, well, why does it sound a little bit like Beat It? Or why does it sound? Now, there was an era where there were songs like, take me to the ladies' room. I don't, I dig it there. You know, those vocals in that kind of era had a, you know, there was a small, there was about an eight month period in Hollywood and in New York where they were all using the same drum machines. And then, and then these toms, are the signature sound. I don't know if it was a Lin or an SP-1200, but I got to listen to that tom, that tom film again, Phil again. That guitar player is sick. It definitely had, I'm sorry, it definitely, I couldn't get my head away from dun, 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 I mean, the rhythm of that was almost identical except for the last two, just rhythmic, not the note choices. But um, I had, the vocals were recorded phenomenally, but whoever the guitar player on this was an absolute studio beast. And they layered a couple tracks and stuff. But this was, this was good. This was like a, this was like kind of a, for me, kind of a trip back into my soundtrack of life because of where the, where the sounds were pulling and the programming and stuff and how it was, especially the triggered uh, guitar crunches. You know, those things are all, you know, sample triggered. But I fully dug that.